Uh, so for the next few weeks, we're going to be looking at probability. Uh, now, some of you might be a bit concerned about doing probability. You probably remember tree diagrams um, and two-way tables and things like that. You may have had some trouble with probability in the past. Uh, the probability that we're going to be doing over the next couple of weeks while related um, you won't rely too heavily on those tree diagrams and things like that. Uh, so it's really a chance to uh, do something a little bit new and sort of have a fresh start, I guess. Um, now, before we start, we just need to sort of define a couple of things. Uh, now, we need to talk about, first of all, random variables. Just need to define that. Oops, just get rid of that. Okay, we just need to define what a random variable is. A random variable uh, is a value. Uh, that cannot be predicted but is determined by the outcome of an experiment. Okay, so um, random variables, uh, it's a value that can be cannot be predicted, but is determined by the outcome of an experiment. Uh, so there's some classics, things like um, rolling a dice and determining what number uh, is up. Now, when you roll a dice, you can't predict what's going to pop up. Um, but once you've performed the experiment, once you've rolled the dice, you'll know whether it was a 5 or a 4 or a 2. Uh, flipping a coin, obviously, is something that we talk about very regularly. Um, let's say, uh, what else? Oh, picking a card. All right, these are the three classics when we talk about probability. Uh, but I really want to talk about some other ones as well. So these are all, and it's fairly obvious what the experiment is. You roll the dice, you flip the coin, you pick the card. Um, and once you've done that, you've determined what the outcome is by performing the experiment. Um Random variables can also be th things like uh, somebody's height or weight or shoe size. Now, th they might look slightly different, but again, these random variables, uh, they can't be predicted. You can't look at somebody and predict their height. You might be able to have a guess at it, but it's not until you... Um, weigh them or measure them or take their shoe size that you'll have some idea of those things. So you still need to perform an experiment in terms of that. Uh, so all of this talk has just been to define random variables. It's a value that cannot be predicted but is determined by the outcome of an experiment. Now we also need to talk about um, types of random variables. There's two types. We've got discrete random variables. And we have continuous. Uh, I'm terrible at spelling. C-O-N-T-I-N-U-O-U-S. Continuous random variables. Okay, so uh, a discrete random variable and a continuous random variable. The difference between these things is how you count them. Now, a discrete random variable, uh, it needs to take a an exact... Oh, um, how could we come up with a, a good idea for what a discrete random variable is? Uh, a discrete random variable takes... A finite number of values. Okay, so a discrete random variable takes a finite number of variables. Finite means a, a fixed number. Uh, whereas a continuous random variable takes an infinite number of values.
Okay, so that might be a bit confusing, but if I use a small example here, um, let's say a discrete random variable is a shoe size. Uh, now, you can only be a certain number of shoe sizes. You could have a size a shoe of size 1 if you're a baby, 1.5. 2, 2.5 or 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5, all the way up to whatever Shaquille O'Neal's shoe size is. Um, but you can only go up in halves. There's no 5 and a quarter or 5 and 3 eighths or 5.25789. Uh, those shoe sizes take distinct values. Whereas if you're looking at foot size... Now, a person's foot could be absolutely any size within the bounds of, of, of human foot sizes. So let's say the biggest, foot si the, the biggest foot size is like 50 centimetres and the smallest is like, I don't know, 2 centimetres. Between that 2 centimetres and 50 centimetres, a person's foot could be absolutely any value. Uh, it could be 15.7 uh, centimetres long or it could be 15.72 centimetres long, or it could be 15.7389 centimetres long. Those decimals could continue on forever, and uh, there's actually an infinite number of values between 2 centimetres and 50 centimetres that a person's foot size could be. Uh, so if we looked at the things that we've done here, roll a dice, um, that's a discrete random value. There's only six things that can happen. One, two, three, four, five, or six. Flipping a coin, that's discrete. You're only going to get heads or tails there. Picking a card, that's discrete. There's only 52 different things that can happen. But somebody's height, within the bounds of human limits, uh, any someone could be any height between zero and, say, two and a half metres. So that's a continuous variable. Uh, weight, again, someone could be any weight between whatever a baby is born at and say 300 kilos if they're a Biggest Loser contestant. Uh, they could be 200 or they could be 200.00001 kilograms. Uh, so that's a continuous variable. And then finally, shoe size, um, that's a discrete variable. Uh, we talked about that before. They can go up in half sizes, but you can't get a, a shoe that's 7.2859. All right, uh, this video is longer than I intended, but it's important to set up because everything that we do over the next couple of weeks, we're going to be dealing with discrete random variables. All right, thanks a lot, guys.